Hello everybody, welcome to Sudhakar Art and Photography. In my previous video, I've shared some of my landscape paintings. In this video, I'd like to share some of my still life paintings with you. Uh, almost all of them have been done on oil and these are all original themes, which means I have uh, photographed, taken a photograph of, uh, of the subject and then I have painted them using oil paint on a canvas so here's the first painting that uh, i wanted to share with you it's pretty simple it's got a wine glass some fruits on a bowl all uh, placed on a wooden table uh, in terms of the of the dimensions and the positions i'm not entirely satisfied this was my first painting but i was i was learning the technique of uh, painting a still life and you can see that um, the effect and the flow of light is almost there you can see the shine on the wine glass you can also see the light falling on the apples and the grapes you can actually feel the texture of the wood and the, the little bit of reflection that falls on the table so all in all it's just it works uh, I think it was a good beginning for my effort. Now here's the next one. This is titled Red Wine and Fruits again. Uh, a similar setting but in this I've added a, a little more of glassware, a decanter with uh, some red wine and a glass bowl, uh, a candle and uh, slightly altered the flow of light here. I have an overhead light in this uh, painting. Uh, but you can see all the elements there. You can also see that um, the technique has improved a little bit since my previous painting. And you can see the text. You can actually see and feel the texture of the glass uh, and the flow of light on the fruits as well as the glass. This was a, a kind of a, a big leap in terms of the technique and the practice I had gained from my previous paintings. So this is a wine cellar and the door has just been opened and there's a flow of sunlight into the room. You can actually feel the dust on this old wooden table. There's a barrel here, there's a couple of uh, uh, bottles, port. Uh, there is some technique that's being used here to make wine. So you can see the copper jug, uh, the freshly plucked grapes, the old uh, table that's been worn out on the edges here. There's a piece of cloth here which was probably used to tie the the mouth of this copper jug. Everything in this painting is rustic and dusty. If you can feel the dust, then I think I've achieved my objectives. And you can also feel the texture of the grapes here. Uh, you can actually see how the light is falling on the grapes on this uh, rather antique basket here, which holds the grapes. So that is this painting. Uh, it was one of my favorite paintings. and. Um, it was an inspiration for me to do more of uh, these still life paintings. Three lemons and a jug is what I've called this painting. Uh, I've just picked up one of the wooden tools at home, placed the jug and, the s and three lemons on it. Just a very simple theme. Uh, had a light falling from this direction here. So I managed to catch a little bit of reflection uh, but what really is the highlight of this painting is the reflection of the lemon on this jug here. So, as you can see, there has been considerable improvement in terms of the technique. You can actually see the the wood and, and its uh, texture here on the on the table. You can see the reflection of the line, and you can actually feel the flow of light. Very simple theme, but. Uh, it wasn't entirely uh, the easiest of the subjects to do. A similar theme again, I've just been obsessed with uh, glassware and fruits and wine and 
stuff like that so something similar here I've used one of the uh, chucks that was gifted to me this was uh, this is was purchased from Dubai and gifted to me by one of my very close friends uh, I've used that as the subject here uh, along with some plums and some oranges and some apple on this uh, on this bowl here uh, what was different here is that the, the the light source is a bit different and you can see the shadow of the jug and uh, the bowl here that adds a bit of effect to the painting you can see the reflection of light on the on the glassware here that adds a bit of depth to the painting Uh, again similar theme but this time I've added a bit of uh, crumpled cloth uh, and some flowers here just to get the effect uh, a little different from fruits I have added uh, some green grapes here as well um, but what really is um, catching your eye here is the is the cloth and you can actually see the stool through the cloth it's a bit of a translucent uh, almost a transparent kind of thin cloth and you can see the stool through it uh, everything here is again about the flow of light and the kind of depth it can create in your paintings uh, this this painting was kind of a challenge that I took on myself I deliberately set up this image took a photograph of it Everything here is about this crumpled cloth. It, uh, it takes uh, some effort to create this effect here. It was a good practice for me to create this, um, the effect of this crumpled cloth here. The light source has been from this side again. And as you can see, the, the, the vase itself is very bright on to your right. Uh, you have these um, locally plucked flowers here, as we call them, the bachelor's button is the local name for these flowers I plucked some of those used a one of my cups to place them there so what this uh, painting conveys is that some kind of a decoration is in progress the drapes are being put up and the flowers are cut and ready to be placed into this vase uh, there's a lot of uh, cloth here that needs to be hung up uh, it's still lying on the table but um, when the light flows in in one direction you can get the effect of this crumpled cloth you can also see the reflection of these flowers on the drapes lilies is the simple name that I've given to this painting just took a couple of lilies placed them in a vase here uh, took one of the uh, copper artifacts I had at home just placed them all together with a bit of laced cloth uh, took a photograph and used that as the subject but what uh, impressed me with my work is the is the effect of copper that you can see here it's so it's the it's the combination of colors that was used uh, the reflection of light that does give the effect of the metal uh, as well as the lilies and the glass here uh, but not to forget that um, I somehow managed to create the effect of this uh, laced cloth here uh, obviously I can use brush to get this effect I had to use a knife uh, and a combination of zero brush uh, brush number zero to get this um, effect of lace cloth here not too much detail but when you put it all together you can get the effect of uh, the lace cloth, the water, uh, the glassware, the flower and the metal. Wet grapes is what I've called this painting. Um, essentially if you can see the water dip, dripping from the grapes then I've done my job. So the, the grapes are wet here. Uh, these have not been plucked out of their uh, uh, branch but you can see the plucked grapes here you can see the reflection of light on it and uh, what I've tried to show here that these grapes are wet as well and there's a lot of water dripping on the table um, 
and for this I've used a copper jug that holds these uh, grapes here. Uh, a bit of an abstract background um, but kind of putting it all together if you can feel the water on the grapes then I've done my job. When I visited one of my friend's place, I saw these antics here uh, placed on his um, in his living room. I just took them, placed them on his dining table, took a photograph and used them as my subject. Uh, this vase here is about 500 years old, so it was quite intriguing to, to actually feel it um, and actually paint it. So nothing very spectacular here but it, for me it was a bit of practice to to do these metallic objects these ceramic objects and try to get the the texture right this is a demonstration still life that I used uh, this is the only painting where I've used acrylic you can see the copper jug and the fruits um, I always use the same stool that I have at home to do these paintings. This one's done was a quick job. It was a demonstration. It just took about um, half an hour, I think, 40 minutes to actually complete this painting. Uh, but what I've tried to show my students here is how light flows, a kind of a sharp light source here that falls on this copper jug uh, to get that effect. That brings us to the end of this uh, painting. So I hope you enjoyed my still life. I have a lot uh, more subjects planned to do, uh, but thanks for watching.